What's up everybody? My name's Nuck and Futz because I'm effin' nuts. Today, I'm here to share some tips on how to make your Warcraft log page into a mesmerizing work of art that'll make you forget about your existential dread for a few glorious moments. Anyways, we're going to start with Northrend Beasts and over the course of a week or so, I will cover the rest of the bosses, uh, excluding faction champs, you know, you just throw a bunch of MLA, it's pretty easy. So, to start off with, you will want to be positioned where Melee is, uh, standing all up in Gormok's ass. Replace the portal where your Dread Scale tank is most likely to be in Phase 2. As the pull timer is ticking down, you will pre pot a Flame Cap because a traditional pre pot gets virtually zero value, and your second pot will still be ready for Ice Howl even with a 3 minute cooldown after using a Flame Cap. As soon as the fight starts, ideally, a mage scorches for you, but if not, you will shadow bolt for ISB, or else your affliction lock guildmates will hate you. And then, pop meta, Emma Aura, all cooldowns, and put your dots up as normal. As soon as Emma Aura is done, it will boots out, and life tap as you're moving out of range of the first stomp. If you do not have energy boots, then life tap and refresh corruption as it will fall fairly soon. When the first kobold goes out, pray to the RNG gods you are not chosen, and emulate slash corruption it. You can continue pumping Gormok, but make sure to snipe the kobold for a decimation proc when you are able to. Moving on to phase 2, you will find your spot which should hopefully be in range of both worms. If it is not, then feel free to grief your raid by moving closer to your healers in the middle of the room to spread the poison debuff to everyone around you because you need this parse. But no, seriously, ask for a spot to be in range of both worms. It will immolate, corruption, and doom the worm your guild is killing second, acid maw in this example, and then immolate, corruption, the other worm, continue to pump single target into that kill target worm. Refresh your immolates and corruptions in an agony or two when needed, especially right before the submerge, because the dots will actually continue to do damage under the ground. Again, pray to the RNG gods you get no poison debuff in this first section so that you can plant and pump. But, if you have to move, then teleport to your tank with the fire debuff and get freed ASAP uh, while still pumping into your kill target. Once one of the worms dies, pre-life tap before the other worm re-emerges. Also, you will likely be able to squeeze another gloves usage on this second worm. Uh, pretty much nothing fancy until ice hell. So let's move on. Make sure you pre-life tap to have the buff fresh and then either have a mage scorch or you can shadow bolt your first global and immediately curse of doom right after. It is very important to doom either the first or second global so that it pops through the ice house stun for the extra damage. Apply your remaining dots and hope no other raid members are near you to grief you with freezes later. Kindly ask your raid members to move the hell out of your personal space if they are too close. If you happen to be alliance, then you can human racial the debuff one time, but who even plays that faction, right? Continue to pump into ice hell until the first knockback and charge is about to happen. Beg one of your paladin homies to send you a bop right before the knockback so that you can gain some more uptime on the boss. Avoid the charge and prepare to move into melee for immolation aura. Pop every cooldown, meta, racial, glove, speed pot, and apply emulate slash corruption and then spam your shadow bolts and incense into his ass. Execute will likely happen during this as well, so make sure to get some big soul fire crits to increase your serotonin levels. Ideally, your guild lusts on ice house stun instead of phase 2 for this parse strategy to be most effective. Gather up your unholy DK guildies and write a strongly worded letter together to your raid leader about how bloodless an ice cell is for the betterment of humanity. Lastly, hope that your guild can actually pump hard enough to skip the second knockback slash stun or else you'll be very sad. I believe that just about covers everything that you should be doing on this boss. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, feel free to subscribe or like this video. Maybe leave a funny comment or a question since I love talking to you guys. Stay tuned for upcoming boss guides and big parses and don't forget to keep pumping and being knuckin' futz.